Oh, I messed this star up. Should I fix it? Should I put it back in the dough? We do not discriminate stars. We do not discriminate stars, period. Hey everybody, welcome back to Rock Creek Real Talk. This is episode six and I'm excited to get this episode going because as you can see, we are in the kitchen. <laughs> we're in my kitchen and I've got a couple ingredients here because we're gonna start baking cookies. But before <laughs> I get into the reason why we're gonna be baking cookies, I wanna introduce myself. My name is Lei. My pronouns are she, her, and hers, and I'm an equity ambassador for the Rock Creek Multicultural Center. And I have a special guest, a stranger here with me today. Do you want to introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Destiny. Uh, I'm Lei's sister. My pronouns are she, her, and hers. And an interesting fact about me is I hate bell peppers with a passion. <laughs> <laughs> like all bell peppers? Um, or unless the green ones are on pizza, you know? The, okay. I mean, they all taste the same, so... Mm. She's here to help me out in the process of making cookies. So, once again, we are baking cookies today. And the reason why is because, well, tomorrow, December 4th, is National Cookie Day. And also, we started December, and you know, what better way to start the season, the holiday season, than baking cookies. Um, and to add on to these reasons, I wanted to take the opportunity to tell you all about a certain presidential election tradition that really intrigued me. Um, as we all know, we have a new president coming in to the White House next month, Joe Biden. And it reminded me of way back when I was, when I was planning for episode two of Rock Creek Real Talk. Um, I was researching all of these things about Trump and Biden, and then I came across what was called the First Lady Cookie Contest. And I was like, wait, First Lady? Cookies? What? <laughs> and um, so I fell in the rabbit hole of Google, and I was researching this even more, and I found that the contest started in Family Circle magazine in 1992. Um, so Hillary Clinton at the time was running with her husband, Bill Clinton against um, Bush, and at that time she was criticized for being a lawyer and political activist and whatnot as a woman. And she said, I suppose I could have stayed home and baked cookies and had teas, but what I decided to do was to fulfill my profession, which I entered before my husband was in public life. And that caused a huge uproar in people because um, they thought that Clinton disrespected housewives, but at the same time, um, some supported her because they liked the idea of a modern woman and the idea that women can take matters into their own hands. So yeah, it was pretty interesting what she said, but regardless, Family Circle Magazine took this opportunity to showcase cookie recipes from Clinton and Laura Bush at that time. And they even had a poll in the magazine so that way the public can bake the recipes themselves and vote on which was better. And in that year, Clinton won. So ever since Family Circle Magazine has been taking recipes from potential first ladies and putting it in their magazine for people to try out and vote every single election. But in the last election, 2020, uh, they canceled the contest officially. So we don't have that contest anymore. But don't worry because my sister and I today are going to be baking the cookie recipes from the potential first ladies in the 2016 election, Melania Trump and Hillary Clinton. Um, and their cookies are sour cream star cookies. Those are Melania Trump's. This is what it looks like here. And Hillary Clinton's oatmeal chocolate chip cookies, or what they call the Clinton family chocolate chip cookies. Um, and before we begin, I wanted to just look at these pictures and just give our first impressions of what it, what, what we think about it. So what do you think about this one first? Mm. They kind of look good, but I feel like it's not going to have flavor. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they do look pretty plain. I feel like 
Um, they, they might be like sugar cookies, maybe, or shortbread by the looks of it. And what do you think of this cookie? It kind of looks like a normal chocolate chip cookie, but I'm kind of interested in what it's gonna, what the texture is gonna be like with the oatmeal. Yeah, me too. Cause I have, I have mixed feelings about oatmeal cookies, but <laughs> who knows? Okay. And while we bake, feel free to leave uh, questions or comments in um, down below there. <laughs> and we're also going to be drawing from these buckets. So this bucket has cookie facts in it. And this bucket has first lady facts. And yeah, throughout the baking process, we're just going to have a conversation. Feel free to put your thoughts in, comments, questions once again. And yeah, let's start baking. <laughs> okay, so let's get out this bowl first. Do you want to explain what you're doing? So we're going to start off with Melania Trump's sour cream star cookies. So first you're going to take your two, two cups of flour and half a teaspoon of baking soda. We already combined them in this bowl and put them in your bowl. Then in a large bowl, I'll take another bowl here. Cream together three fourths stick of butter and one okay. cup of powdered sugar with a an electric mixer until it's smooth and creamy. And then after that, you're gonna add one large egg, one egg white, and your sour cream. I finally got the butter open. <laughs> I'm gonna add this then. Powdered sugar. Okay. We're going to warn you now, the electric mixer might be a little bit loud. Loud. It's loud. <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> it's still cold yeah. yeah butter is complicated to work with but it's all right we got it okay while we're figuring this out i wanted to ask um you then mm. how do you define a good first lady hmm what I look for in a good first lady is kindness and since they have power, um, I feel like they should be using it to show good to society. Yeah. 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 I agree. Yeah. If you have, you know, that much power. Um, even the presidents too, just like anyone really in the government. If you have that much power, I feel like obviously you should use it for good um, and just support your people because you got elected for a reason. And so you just have to make sure you continue to support it, support your people and, you know, just do good because we don't want a bad leader. <laughs> okay, you got it? I think so. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Chaos. Chaos. That's okay. We got it. <laughs> yeah. The butter is pretty cold, that's why. So it is taking a while for it to mix in. I mean, it was soft, but the house is really cold. Yeah, it got cold again. You got it. Yeah, we don't know. Yeah. All right, how about we take this opportunity to pull from one of the buckets? Yeah. So do you want to pull? Do you want to pull from a cookie fat bucket or the first lady bucket? Cookie. Cookie. Okay. Let's pull our first cookie fat. Some of them 
some are trivia too. Oh, this one's trivia. So this is a question for you um, and all of you who are watching, if you'd like to guess. So, what is the number one store-bought cookie in America? You've got three options. So, Chips Ahoy, Oreo, and Milano. So you can go ahead and leave your guess in the comments if you'd like. What do you think? Oreos. Why Oreo? Uh, no, it's just pretty popular. Um, it's very well known. True, true. Well, you're right. <laughs> the uh -huh. answer is Oreo. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense, right? A lot of people eat Oreos, and it's pretty well known worldwide. Yeah, you can go ahead. I'll start mixing. Very good. Yeah, I think that's pretty good to start off with. Alright, so we're gonna next add in your egg, right? Yeah. So this is one egg and, and one, egg, one egg white. I'm gonna put that in here. And then now add your sour cream. Yes, sour cream. <laughs> <laughs> And then do we just fold that together? Um, we need to beat it. Beat it one more time? Yeah. Okay. I'll go ahead and do that. Oh, yeah. We could. <laughs> oh, yeah. Go ahead and fold it in. You got it? I think we could start folding now. I think we need to. Okay. How about let's draw a first lady fact? We got our first first lady back here. So first lady Edith Wilson from 1915 to 1921 became acting president after her husband Woodrow Wilson suffered a severe stroke. I actually read up about this and she didn't tell anyone that her husband had a stroke I think. She yeah she sort of just went on carrying out the duties without really anyone like questioning i mean people question but she just did her thing <laughs> and didn't tell anyone that her husband had a stroke for a while so yeah that that was an interesting thing that happened with that specific first lady okay you got it yeah go. all right so we've got our first mixture going for the sour cream star cookies and now we're going to add our flour mixture into this mixture here and fold that all together. And gradually. Yeah. <laughs> Keep adding some. Yeah, that's pretty good for now. Okay. I'll switch. Do you want to? Yeah. Yeah. We're switching because apparently I'm doing it incorrectly. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to add more? Yeah. Okay. You can add all of it in. Okay. Okay. Gonna mix that together. And let's see who has joined us. You've got Jeff here, our lead coordinator. And who else do we have? Oh, Joy guessed Oreo for that last trivia question. Yep, you were right. Okay, and that's gonna take a bit to mix. So while you mix that, I wanted to bring up um, the fact that, so we, we, once again, we do have a new president coming in next month, and we also have a new first lady coming in next month, Jill Biden. And Jill Biden was the second lady during the Obama presidency, right? And I think it's really interesting that 
now um, we have a new person filling in her spot as second lady um, and this person is a man. Um, we have our first second gentleman of the United States, that's Doug Emhoff, Kamala Harris's husband. And so I wanted to ask, um, what were your guys' thoughts on this new second gentleman and what were your thoughts? <laughs> I found it pretty cool. Like, honestly, I was just like, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> and then, like, just that the the roles kind of switched i was just right, like right. yeah girl power whatever. yeah girl power <laughs> yeah i think it's pretty awesome that you know the gender roles have changed up and that we now have um a woman in power you know Kam kamala harris being vice president and just the the man supporting her um you know because it's always been a lady there's always been a first lady second lady and so it's just really cool to see the role switched and um, watch the support happen. And I also wanted to mention this, this quote that I had found from Doug Emphoff. He was in an interview with kids and one of the kids asked, what would you do if your wife was vice president? And this is what he said. He said, I'm just going to do what I always do. I'm going to support her because it's really important for men and even young boys to support the strong and wonderful mo women in their life. And yeah, that was just so heartwarming and I was so happy hearing that. And yeah, it just made me feel glad that I'm living in a time where, you know, gender stereotypes are starting to be broken down and there are these really cool things happening. Okay, we finally got this mixture sort of combined. We're going to put it down on our counter and then fold it in with our hand so we got a dough going. Let's just clear the counter first. Okay. This is our mat that we use for everything. <laughs> our orange mat. We're gonna just scoot everything over here. And dump it. Yeah. And then mix it with our hands. Wait, wash my hands really quick. Okay. A little bit of flour. Alright, so while I'm combining this, um, my sister is going to start on Hillary Clinton's cookie dough. Ready? So you're going to take a medium bowl, a bowl, any kind of bowl. <laughs> it can be large, it can be small, it can be medium. And you're going to mix your flour half one and a half cup of flour one teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of baking soda they're all in here nice now take another bowl and you're gonna put your vegetable shortening Vegetable shortening. Over there. <laughs> I put it on the other counter. Vegetable shortening. <laughs> and your one cup of sugar. 
sugar, brown sugar. Put in your half a cup of granulated sugar, which I forgot to measure out. I'm sorry, <laughs> but she's getting that right now. Okay, I've got the dough here for Melania Trump sour cream star cookies. I'm going to put it in the fridge for a couple minutes. Okay, and while we wait, we can draw from the buckets again. Should we draw from the first lady bucket or the cookie bucket? Okay, mm -hmm. um, we did first lady before, so we'll draw a cookie fact right now. Oops. Okay. Cookie fact. The word cookie comes from the Dutch word koekje, which means little cake. That's so cute. Okay. Yeah. That is adorable. Okay. We got it going? Yeah. Then after you have your granulated sugar, your shortening, and your brown sugar, you're going to get um, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. You got it. There we go. And then we mix this together, right? And cream too. Yeah. But fold basically until you get a creamy texture. Okay. There you go. That's combining. I wanted to also ask you, Tintin, then, mm -hmm. since we have a couple of time, a couple of minutes, what is your favorite cookie? Like, what type of cookie is your favorite? Like, what kind? Like, like stir fry or make? Like, um, anything. anything. Hmm. I really like. Um, the sugar cookies with the pink icing at stores <laughs> they're just so good and then but like if i'm feeling a bit spicy i would get <laughs> a double chocolate chip cookie mm. and like you have to warm it up so like the chocolate is like a bit melted and oh it's so good <laughs> <laughs> that sounds pretty good i think mine I think I am just a classic chocolate chip cookie lover, honestly. That's always been my favorite. Um, yeah, or anything chocolate, really. Like, the double chocolate chip sounds really good. Okay, so we've got this pretty well combined. It's getting there. And next, we're going to add in two large eggs. <laughs> I didn't crack that one good. That's alright. Yay. We're gonna mix that. Okay, so we've said our favorite type of cookie. What's your least favorite type of cookie? Anything with nuts. <laughs> oh yeah, you have, you have a nut allergy. So, can't eat that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Unfortunately. Um, my least favorite cookie, you wanna go ahead? Yeah. My least favorite type of cookie would probably have to be, hmm. You like everything. I, th <laughs> I, oh, I don't like lemon. I don't, I don't know why. I just don't like lemon desserts, lemon cookies, lemon, really anything. My dad really likes Cause, lemon. Yeah, it's just not, not my palate, but that's all right. Then we're going to add in the oats, right? Yeah. So that is... Mm. We're adding our... Yeah. 
Oh, right. Sorry. We're going to add in the dry ingredient to this mixture. Here, you want to do it that way? Yeah. You want to eat it? <laughs> yeah. There's raw egg and flour. I really want. I feel like cookie something a, a difference that I've noticed in this cookie dough compared to other ones I've made. It's really dark. It's a lot darker than other ones. Mm -hmm. That's really interesting. I think it's because it has a lot of brown sugar. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So fold that in. Mm -hmm. There we go. Nice. Okay, so I'm. It's about time to get out um, the sour cream star cookies. Well, the dough at least. So I'm gonna scoot over here and roll this out with a rolling pin because we're going to punch in stars into it. And rolling pin. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna roll this out. I sort of have strength today. <laughs> I drank coffee. <laughs> but yeah. There's some butter in here. And we should roll it out to, I think, a half inch thinness. Just got to keep putting flour over it. So my sister has finished some of the dough for um, Hillary Clinton's cookies. She's going to add in the oats and chocolate chips for the finishing part. That's, I believe, Two cups of oats or one cup? Yeah. One cup. One cup of oats. <laughs> I always, honestly, the reason why I get sort of worried when I, not worried, but like nervous when I eat oatmeal cookies is because sometimes they tend to be really dry because of the oatmeal. Um, but yeah, it really depends. Okay, this dough is pretty tough. Gotta keep going. So I'm gonna tell you a fact about First Lady. Harriet Lane was First Lady, but was not the wife of the President. She was the niece of the President, James Bu Buchanan, I think? Buchanan. Yeah. So you might know first ladies to be, you know, wives of the president because that's what they have usually been. But um, that time around, it was the niece of the president. So that was pretty interesting to see um, someone take on those roles. Okay, the dough is coming along. It's still pretty thick, so I'm going to keep going a little more. And then we're going to punch out the stars. So I finished combining the oats and the dough. And now we're going to add in everyone's favorite milk chocolate chips. Period. We love chocolate chips. Oh, I actually have a fact for um, cookies. And um, it's about chocolate chips. So the way that chocolate chip cookies came to be was actually through an accident. <laughs> um, so in, I think, Toll House, it's Toll House Inn, a woman named Ruth Wakefield, I believe, she was trying to make um, chocolate dewdrop cookies. It was their specialty. And it was basically sort of like a double chocolate cookie where the dough was brown. Um, and they would use, usually use baker's chocolate, right? So that way it would make the dough brown. But they didn't have that. And so Ruth Wakefield decided to take a chocolate bar and cut it up into little bits. And she put it in the dough thinking that it's going to melt and make the dough brown. And she put that in the oven. 
but um, the chocolate chips, the chocolate that she had cut out, actually stayed in its shape. So that's why it's now called chocolate chip cookies because they stayed in those little chip forms. And yeah, ever since then, they started selling these chocolate chip cookies and it became famous and what we know as the cookie today. Okay, I finished. You finally got it done? Yeah. Okay, we finally finished Hillary Clinton's cookies. Um, the cookie dough at least <laughs> and now my sister is going to put it on a tray and then put them in the oven but first you gotta preheat your oven to 350 350 <laughs> okay I think the dough is pretty good now for Melania Trump's cookies uh, yeah I think I'm gonna start putting in the stars. So we've got our star cookie cutter here, and we're going to just put them through the dough. Hopefully you can see it. Easy. So I'm gonna take my uh, cookie baller cookie scooper <laughs> and um, put them on the pan oh grease your pan before putting your cookie dough or it's gonna stick and that would be super sad because you work so hard on these cookie doughs <laughs> anyways i'm worried that i made it a little too thick no i think it's fine so we've got this first batch usually what i do is i just take off the excess um parts around the the ones that I won't cut out, and then I roll it up back into a ball and then cut that part out as well. It's so satisfying pulling off the dough and seeing the stars here. <laughs> Let me pull off this star first. <gasps> oh no, I think I broke it. No, it's fine. <laughs> we got our star. <laughs> it's a little wonky, but she cute. She a cute star. Okay. And I'm gonna keep pulling this off as we go. Oh no, I broke a star. <laughs> That's fine. My question is though, with these sour cream star cookies, will you taste the sour cream? I mean, actually, I don't, I don't think we will. <laughs> because it's, we only put a little bit, but who knows? We will find out. Okay, this dough is too sticky. Should I put more flour? They are very. You got the the Hillary Clinton cookies yes. ready for the oven? Yes. Okay. They look really good. They do look really How good. How I just want to eat the dough? Do we have more dough left over? Yes. Oh, we do. Okay, cool. <laughs> Delina says it looks so cute. It is so cute. I'm, I'm wondering if when we put them in the oven, they're gonna like puff up and be chubby little stars. <laughs> that would be even more cute. Can you get me another sheet so I can put these stars? Okay, I'll oil it as well. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna grease our cookie sheet for the stars as well before we lay our cookies on it. And then we're going to put it in the oven. Once again, I mentioned this before, but um, we have made a batch yesterday, but we didn't try it. So we're going to try that. That way um, we won't have to wait for the oven. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to lay this first star on here. It's beautiful. Can you wipe the tray down a little bit? Okay. And put some of the other stars. Oh no, these ones were holding hands. There you go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I eat some chocolate chips. Are you eating chocolate chips? I want to. Okay. Can you help me um 
take off the dough on this one. Mm -hmm. Wait, gonna... actually, before you do that, can you pull a couple more facts? Cookie fact. Cookie fact? Okay. <gasps> oh no! I messed this star up! <laughs> Should I fix it? Should I put it back in the dough? Or should I keep it as is? We do not discriminate stars. We do not discriminate stars, period. Should we just leave it? It's my masterpiece. Okay, I'm gonna leave it as is, because it's beautiful. <laughs> okay. Cookie fact. I want this one. I like the coloring of the letters. Okay. We drew another cookie fact. What is it? The world's biggest chocolate chip cookie weighs over 40,000 pounds. Dang. And was 102 feet wide. That's a huge cookie. Yeah. For 40,000 pounds is like this the weight of four elephants. Oh. That's a huge cookie. <laughs> I wonder if they ate it all. Did yeah, I wonder away? how they ate it. Is it displayed in a giant thing of saran wrap? Who knows? Okay. So we've got this cookie sheet of stars on and this cookie sheet this cookie sheet of Hillary Clinton's oatmeal chocolate chip cookies here too and we're gonna put them in the oven once the oven's done preheating and then we're gonna try some that we've made yesterday the oven is almost there so why don't we finish up these facts? So let's oh, draw man. these first lady facts. Okay, so another first lady fact. Pat Nixon, first lady in 1969 to 1974, was the first first lady to wear pants in public. Oh, yeah. That's pretty cool. I mean, she really said, I'm gonna wear pants, not these dresses, so. Do you prefer dresses or pants? I, do I prefer dresses or pants? Yeah. I prefer pants. <laughs> I mean, actually, no, I like both of them, because you feel more free in dresses sometimes, mm -hmm. like, when you move around, but, yeah. Okay, let's take, draw another cookie fact, I mean, first lady fact. Louisa Adams, John Quincy Adams' wife, raised silkworms and had her own little silkworm farm. That's I adorable. Raise worms. Me too. I love to raise silkworm. Okay. And let's do one more cookie fact. The only one. <laughs> okay. According to the book Sesame Street Unpaved, the cookies that Cookie Monster eats on Sesame Street are actually painted rice cakes. Wow. I mean, my life was a yeah, lie. that makes sense. My life was a lie. <laughs> I thought they were cookies. Okay, so we've got the um, we've got Hillary Clinton's cookies in the oven, and while that's going, we are going to try the cookies that we made yesterday. So we've got them here. I'm gonna grab. Let's try Hillary Clinton's cookies first. Looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Looks like a chocolate chip cookie with oats in it. <laughs> okay, ready? Did you just eat it already? No, I didn't. <laughs> okay, cheers. Well, mmm. That's a pretty good cookie. Mm -hmm. It's pretty, it's chewy inside. It's a little crispy on the outside, as a cookie should be. <laughs> and let me see how it breaks. That's a pretty good break. I Sometimes when it comes to cookies, I don't like it when they just like, like break apart so fast like that and it's all crumbly because that means it's like hard or something or too crunchy. I do like a soft chewy cookie. So yeah, this is really good. What do you say? Good. Good? Hmm. <laughs> okay. Hold on. We're gonna eat Melania Trump's 
sour cream. Can I say that for later? Yeah. Melania Trump's sour cream star cookies. So just by looking at it, what do you think? Me? Yeah, mm -hmm. what do you think? It's dry. <laughs> it looks dry? Yeah. It does look a little dry. It's, yeah. It's pretty. It feels thick. It looks and cakey. And sort of hard. Like in the inside. It looks a bit cakey. Yeah. Oh, if you like press onto it, yeah. it's pretty cakey too. Okay. Let's try. Let me, I'm gonna rip off a little star leg. Sorry. Hmm. Hmm. I have mixed feelings about this. Me too. <laughs> like, it's good. Mm. But, like, it's not sweet. It's very shortbread deep. Yeah, it, it's pretty bland. <laughs> I think it would. It needs a little more sugar. Or, like, frosting, maybe. It, it, it tastes like a, um, like a really plain sugar cookie. Or shortbread. Um, it would be good with, like... Coffee or hot chocolate. Yeah. And it, it is pretty cakey actually inside. It's not like crunchy, crunchy hard. It's not dry. It's sort of dry. <laughs> For me, a little it's bit. All right. I think it'd be good if you dip it in like milk or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Food is but they look cute, the star shape. So we've tried both cookies. And what do you think? Do you want. Do you like um, Clinton's oatmeal chocolate chip cookie? Or Melania's Melania Trump um, sour cream star cookie. Clinton. Clinton. Yeah. My vote is Clinton too. Hillary Clinton's oatmeal chocolate chip cookie is better. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Melania. This ain't it. I'm sorry, Melania. Like it's it's all right, but it ain't it. <laughs> Maybe just some frosting would help. Yeah, I think frosting would help. Eating this. You're gonna finish eating that? Okay, so we're gonna finish eating these cookies and put the rest of our cookies into the oven so we can have more of them and maybe even add some frosting on the sour cream star cookies. But with that said, we're gonna close out this Rock Creek Real Talk. I hope you all enjoy this um, and enjoyed our conversation about first ladies and um, generals and just cookies in general. And I hope you have a good rest of the year. 2020 is almost done. And um, good rest of finals week coming up. So, yeah. Bye, guys. Thank you for joining us. Bye. Bye-bye.